So this is uh, question eight now from the June 2014 paper. Uh, we're going to be looking at uh, part A uh, in this video, uh, which is the essay using examples, describe the functions of carbohydrates and lipids in living organisms. Um, this is a, a pretty straightforward essay, really. Uh, it's just testing you on uh, memory recall. All right, so what I'm going to do is just show you the mark scheme. I'm going to go through some of the points. Uh, the first bit here is carbohydrates. Um, so in terms of the functions, you can talk about glucose. It does ask to state examples in the question. So glucose uh, is used for respiration. It's a respiratory substrate. Uh, glucose can actually obviously join together and form a storage uh, in plants, which is starch. Okay, starch is the storage substance in plants. Okay, um, if we pop down to, to D, of course, the equivalent in animals is glycogen. Okay, so there's the, again, you've mentioned starch, you mentioned glycogen, you've said its function, which is storage, uh, particularly of energy or glucose in plants and animals. Um, cellulose then is uh, is a structural polysaccharide. Um, it's found in the plant cell walls. Okay, and chitin then is the insect exoskeleton and in fungi. Okay, um, you could mention then disaccharides. Okay, the most obvious one to go for is sucrose, and that is the sugar that's transported in plants. Okay, in this essay, there was no real need uh, to talk about isomers of glucose. Um, there were no marks really for condensation reactions or hydrolysis reactions. It was purely and simply uh, give it, give examples of carbohydrates and their functions. Okay. Uh, one more marking point is, of course, uh, glycogen and starch are insoluble. All right, and that therefore they have no osmotic effect on the cell, so they they ultimately don't lower the water potential of a cell, um, and it prevents them from uh, from bursting really. So there were the marking points for carbohydrates. If we go to lipids, then um, you had a mark there for the saturated um, fatty acids uh, as storage. Okay. Um, Thermal insulation, of course, or buoyancy, that was one marking point for either one of those. You can talk about waxes and waterproofing in leaves. Okay, uh, very good energy uh, supply from fats, and you must mention that uh, phrase twice as many, uh, twice as much energy released as carbohydrates. Okay. Uh, K there is protection of organs from physical damage. If you just say protection, uh, protection from what? The examiner will ask when well, it's physical damage. Uh, the next one is electrical insulation in neurons. You could have mentioned the myelin sheath. Okay. Um, a source of metabolic water from respiration of lipids. Okay, so when you use lipids in respiration, you can have the production of water. So I just want to highlight that, uh, again, marking point H and marking point L, you do have to clarify what type of insulation you mean. There are two, thermal and electrical insulation. A uh, couple of other marking points then. Um, the um, uh, glucose or carbohydrates and lipids can be used to make other things. Okay, so for example, uh, the lipids uh, can actually make phospholipids. Okay, so you can add a phosphate to the lipid to make uh, phospholipids. Um, glucose and other carbohydrates then can be used to make DNA, RNA or ATP. Uh, you can also make amino acids as well. The reason why you can make those, of course, is um, the carbohydrates contain the carbon, the hydrogen and the oxygen needed to make amino acids and DNA and so on. 
Okay, so they were the marking points for the carbohydrates and lipids essay. Just remember that you need to write in uh, sentences. You shouldn't do bullet points for these essays. It should be all in continuous prose. Okay, uh, so that's part A of question eight.